God gave me a dream last night with a message intended for a bunch of you. And it's all about you using your voice and those who want nothing more than to take you out. That message for you coming up right after this. Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back for another video. My name is Jason and if this is your first time here and you want to learn how to see yourself as God sees you and to reframe the windows of your world, then start by subscribing right now and ringing that little notification bell so you don't miss any content when it comes up. Okay, we're going to dig into my dream. We're going to go over it real fast in a rough shot manner and then we're going to come back to it scene by scene and exactly what that means for you and the message that God has for you overall. Let's dig into it right now, let's go. So the dream opens up and we're standing in this large, massive banquet facility and we're out in the lobby area and inside there are hundreds and hundreds of people and their faces are a little blurry. And we know that we're there for a specific reason, we just don't know exactly why in that exact instance. And we know that standing next to us is a loved one, in this case it was my wife. The dream shifts just ever so slightly to scene two. And we go off to the restroom to freshen up and out from the shadows, this figure emerges and slits our throat with a knife and we're bleeding out profusely and so we put our hand on her throat and then we run back to the lobby, the foyer area where our loved ones are and we fall to the ground and we see hovering right over us is, is our loved ones, in this case it's my wife, putting her hands on the throat trying to stop the bleeding and one other person there comes to our aid and then we black out and we wake up and we're in a hospital room. And we're recovering and there are bandages on our neck and everything is white and everything is bright and it's clean. And we're in a time of healing and there are people around us that are there to help us heal. The dream shifts to scene four. Some time has elapsed and we're standing in this brand new, amazing corporate facility. And we're there to meet with the CEO and someone's there to introduce us. And the CEO is young and they've got this brand new method, this brand new technology for communicating to the world. And it's vibrant, it's colorful, and it's meant to wow and amaze. And we're there for a one-on-one -on -one meeting that we've been invited into to speak with the CEO about getting the message out. We go into this room, we go into the office, the door's shut, we sit down at this table and it's as though that everything has been set up and prepared just for us, just for you and me and the dream ends. Let's break it down scene by scene and exactly what this means for you and the message that God needs you to hear overall. So I don't want you to miss anything, stick around all the way to the end. And say, if you're liking what you hear so far, give it a thumbs up and share this video with other people. Okay, here we go. Scene one and what it means for you. You're standing in this large banquet facility, this large conference center, and there are hundreds of people on the inside and you're there in the lobby area. You're there with a loved one. Okay, God is gonna put you in certain times, in certain places, to do and say certain things. But you might not know exactly what those are at the moment. You just know that you're supposed to be there because God has ordained you to be in a certain time and place. And that happens often in our lives. God is gonna put you in certain places, in certain times, to communicate a certain message. You might not know why or where or when you're supposed to be at a certain time, and that's okay. Just know that God is gonna put you in places and times where you're supposed to be to put out a message that he needs you to put out. And that's emphasized by the fact that you're gonna go freshen up. Again, that gives purpose to why you're there. You just weren't going to use the restroom. No, you're there to freshen up, like to splash water on your face. So you go do that, but you're ambushed. Out from the shadows emerges this figure and you don't, you don't see the figure, you're, they're just there, they're like a thug. And they're there with a knife and they slit your throat, but right below the voice box, they miss. They don't miss you, because you're bleeding out profusely, but they miss your voice box. So what do you do? You react, you respond, you put your hand on your throat, and then you run back to your loved ones, you run back to where you can get aid, where you can get care, and you fall to the ground and you let people come to your care, you let people come to your aid, and then you pass out. And you wake up and it's scene three and you're in a hospital room and things are white, things are bright, and you got bandages on your neck and there are people there that are there to support and care for you. What's this all mean for you? Again, it means that God is going to put you in certain times and places. We already kind of covered that, right? It's important for you to hear, but it's also important for you to hear that there are people in this world that don't want you to get your message out. They're afraid of what you're gonna say. The devil is afraid for the voice that God has put in your life. And he's afraid that you are gonna use that voice that God has put within you. So he's gonna do anything he can to take you out, to take your voice out. We can see this playing out in the news. 
just happened the other day, this young gal by the name of Savannah Hernandez, she's like 18 or 19, went to a protest in her city where Black Lives Matters and other people were protesting and she made up this sign, this placard, and it just said on it, Police Lives Matter. And on the back side was the name of a police officer that was killed in the line of duty. And there were people there that did not want that voice to be heard. She didn't actually say anything. She was just standing on a street corner, holding up her sign, being peaceful. But there are people in this world who don't wanna hear your peaceful message. They're gonna do anything they can to take you out and to take out the voice that God had for you. And they tried to do it to her, and as they, Lurched at her to knock her out, she moved out of the way, and then someone came to her aid. And that will happen to you too. If someone tries to take you out, if they actually do inflict harm on you, the first thing that you're gonna do is to run to the people that love you and let them care for you and let God heal you. Again, that goes into the hospital scene, right? It's a place of healing and it's a place of brightness and a place of peace, a place where the enemy can't get you and time will elapse and there will be a people there to care for you and you need to allow that to happen. Believe me, I know. And God will bring you into a new time, into a new place where he's gonna use your message and he's gonna get it out to the world in a way that you can't even imagine right now. And when that happens, what a marvelous day it will be because your message is gonna get out there for the whole world to hear. Here's the overall point of my dream and what it means for you. God has given a word for you and that word needs to get out. But that word scares the pants out of the enemy. And he wants nothing more than to take you out. But even what he intends for harm, God is gonna intend for good. And someday, if the enemy does try to take you out, God's gonna put your message out there anyway. Again, I want you to hear it. God has put a message in your heart. God gave you a voice and he intends for you to use it for peace and for good and to get the word out there. So don't fear what someone may or may not try to do to shut you down. You just go about your life and do what you can to put your message out there. And if for some reason they do succeed to try to shut you down, God will bring you back into a time where that message is gonna get out even louder and even brighter and even more vibrant. And that's good news and good news for the whole world. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and ring that little notification bell so when I do post new content again in a few days, you're gonna hear about it. And say, here's another thing. If you're having a hard time hearing from God, then check out this video up here called, Is God Trying to Say Something to You? Watch that right after this. And then I will see you in the next few days on the flip side. And until I get to see you again, God bless.